and we are back on Drizzle Land. So what we're gonna do in this is we are going to review a new recipe that somebody gave me and I actually went ahead and already made it. These are called Monster Burgers. I'll show them to you. I'll turn it this way. So essentially what this is, is you basically the night before you're going to grill your hamburgers, you marinate them in Monster Energy Drink. Um, you can use basically any type of energy drink, um, it said in the recipe, but I prefer Monster. I think that it tastes a little bit better. So I basically got a can of the sugar-free Monster. I marinated my burgers last night in them and then I grilled them today and um, I haven't been into one yet but they look amazing um, and then you just add your toppings and um, later on I'll probably do another video after I eat one and see what it tastes like but um, from what I was hearing online these are something that they tend to make at tailgating parties and things like that now um, so that's just something else that I wanted to do in this video is show you that yes you you can come up with different ingredients to marinate your burgers and uh, you don't always have to use the same boring you know salt pepper you know other things like that um, and I wanted to uh, quickly do a little review actually of something that I've been watching and um, really getting into and um, I, it's it's really not that bad of of a of a TV series, um, and that's a show called Brickleberry. It's by the same person who basically came up with, you know, um, well, basically all your Seth MacFarlane shows. Um, basically, it's it's the story of uh, a bunch of camp uh, camp. Uh, nature like themed uh people that live out in the woods and they become friends and they have to develop you know their friendships and things like that um and then there's a like a, a bear in the show that is you know kind of funny and things like that it's it's i've been watching it on hulu it's pretty interesting it's kind of funny um the other thing i wanted to quickly review was South Park. Uh, you know, now for many years I stopped watching it because I wasn't too interested in what was happening anymore, but I started catching up and watching the, the earlier seasons, uh, and then I got more into the show as it went on. Um, and I have to be honest, I think it's it's not slowing down. It's very, very, very interesting. I've also been watching some of the newer American Dad episodes. I think that those are are just as good as the older ones too. Um, and I've been catching up on Family Guy as well. Um, and some of those are pretty entertaining too. Um, I like the the um, parody that they were doing with like Modern Family and a few other things that were kind of funny. Um, and then I've also been watching a lot of Adult Swim shows. Um, you know, on Hulu as well, and I've also been watching a few shows I've never seen, um, and I have to be honest, you know, I think Adult Swim is one of those things that is incredibly, um, you know, well put together. Every show on Adult Swim is one of those things that you can't really go wrong with. I mean, if you want to sit and watch Tim and Eric, for example, that's really funny. Um, you know, Boondocks, um... I mean, there's just so many good shows on Adult Swim, it's hard to really pick, like, a certain show that I like other, over other ones, but I think they're all they're definitely worth your time and effort checking them out. Um, and there's a few other shows that, you know, I've been kind of, you know, watching as well. I watched a few of the uh, first, you know, two episodes of Strange Things, uh, which I think... Um, I don't know, I think season two is better than the first season, actually. Um, you know, I think that that's one of the shows on Netflix that's actually 
helping them kind of develop, you know, a, a, a new fan base. Um, but, you know, I think that if I had a choice, though, I probably would say that Hulu has a lot more to watch. And they're getting, you know, better movies and productions of original shows and things like that. And that's, that's another thing I wanted to mention, too. Um, you know, A Handmaiden's Tale is a great show. Harlots is a great show. Um, the Chance is a great show. I've seen a lot of that show. Um, and then I've also been watching, like, American Horror Story and Freakish and Gotham um, and, you know, Chicago PD. Um, you know, I've been watching a lot of different things to kind of keep myself more involved with some of the newer productions. Um, and, you know, I think that there's so many great shows to keep up with that really especially during a day like here in South Bend right now when it's just downpouring rain, we're going to have thunderstorms basically for the next three days. Um, it's just a good idea just to ca catch up on your shows and, you know, grill food and have f fun and just hang out. And so I think that that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend and plus just cleaning the house, getting things done. Um, so, you know, I think that... Um, some of the movies that, you know, Netflix and Hulu have added recently, I think are really going to help them build, you know, their library. Um, you know, Casper, the movie, is going to be added very soon to Netflix this month. Um, they're also going to be getting, like, a bunch of animated movies and things like that for the holidays, and I think that that should kind of help their fan base out a little bit. Um, the same thing with Hulu, you know, they're adding a lot of different diversity to their library. Um, I mean, even Amazon Prime actually is adding quite a bit of good stuff. Um, so, you know, definitely, um, if you are, as a, you know, if you are into the streaming, I think that around this time of year, you're going to start picking up that, you know, they're really focusing on trying to build their libraries with um you know a lot of different diversity for everybody and that's that's good because not everybody likes you know the digital cable cable you know aspect in direct tv and and in some of that because it's overrated it's over expense and you're not really getting exactly what you want um so i think that we should give the streaming sites the benefit of the doubt that they are trying to help everybody catch up on shows and build their library um so yeah i think that that this is something that that's good for us around this time of year is that we're going to start seeing a lot of different changes um with these services um so yeah i i think that um they're really trying to make an effort to um have people you know watch their services um, and, you know, obviously the people who, who don't want to watch a lot of sports, they have this option. And I think that that's, that's wonderful because, um, I mean, not everybody's into sports and things like that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video and just, uh, see what everybody's doing and just tell them about this little recipe I found and I made it and I'm going to enjoy it. You guys have a wonderful Saturday, and I'm going to be eating my food and just catching up on my shows. And um, comment below, add me, subscribe. Uh, I like to hear from you guys, and uh, enjoy your day.